Number 40. Methanol can be prepared from carbon monoxide and hydrogen at high temperature and pressure in the presence of a suitable catalyst. Then we have letter C. What will happen to the concentrations of H2CO and H3OH at equilibrium if CO is removed? Okay, so Le Chatelier's principle again. I just wrote out the balanced equation again because we're going to need it. And they're asking for what's going to happen to these concentrations. Are they going to increase, decrease, or remain the same when you remove carbon monoxide? So here's the rule coming from Le Chatelier's principle of what happens when we decrease something, aka when CO is removed. In this case, we are getting rid of the CO, aka we're lowering it. Now just pay attention, this only... Um, works if you have a uh, gas or aqueous, right? Specifically gases, Le Chatelier is going to be majority of the gases, but aqueous too. But CO is a gas, so we will have to do this little shift. So if you lower an amount of something, you have way too little. So that's what's going on right now. You have way too low CO, right? But you need to get it back. How are you going to get this back, right? Well, I have to go to that side. So what's going to happen to the equilibrium? You have two options, right? You're either going to go this way or are you going to go this way? Remember, if you have too low of this, you need to get it back. So you would shift this way, right? To make this and lower this. And that's what Le Chatelier's is all about. If you have too low of something, you will shift to the same side. So you will be going in the reverse direction here because you shift in the same side of what you decreased. And now what's going to happen? Now we correct everything. So for H2 and CO, since they're both gases, right? All three of them are gases, so they're all going to be affected, right? So H2 and CO, since they're both in the reactant side and we're going this way, these are now going to be increased. So increased on the H2 and increased on the CO. What's going to happen with the CH3OH? Oh, it will decrease. So that's basically the answer for the question. They said, what will happen to the concentrations of H2CO and CH3OH? For H2, the concentration, aka the brackets, that will increase. The concentration for CO, that will increase. And the concentration for CH3OH, that will also decrease. And there are your three answers. And that's the end for this part. What do you think, guys? Hopefully this is helping you out, all right? Um, if you want, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for that, and I will see you in the next part. I think we got a couple more, so hang tight, all right? Okay, bye-bye.